Hey, what is it, guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Osana. to call me? And yeah, so a lot of news has just came out, so I'm just gonna do a compilation of all of them in this video. So let's start it. So, uh, Treyarch has finally revealed their next Call of Duty game, and that's gonna be a Black Ops series. So, Black Ops 4. All right. So I was such a Call of Duty fan since I, I think I played it since two. So yeah, I've been a fan of Call of Duty, and um, yeah, these few Call of Duties we got. Has been trash. We have, um, I haven't bought Infinite Warfare or World War II. Is it called Infinite Warfare or is it called Advanced Warfare? I don't know, but yeah, they, they're, they're, they're like the same, those two. So the last good Call of Duty for the eighth generation was Black Ops 3. And it, it, Black Ops 3 wasn't that good, but it's, it's better than the ones we got this generation. Now, the last good Call of Duty game, um, other than Black Ops 3, was Black Ops 1 and 2. I, I really love, um, Black Ops' one story. 2 was pretty good, too. The story was great. But 3, it was like, what, was this even related to Black Ops 1 and 2? And also, Black Ops 1 and 2's multiplayer was pretty good. So yeah, I have more faith with Treyarch because they, they haven't made a horrible Call of Duty game. Sledgehammer only existed for four years, and I guess World War 2 was a pretty good game. Infinity Ward used to be great, but you know, they went downhill after Ghost. So yeah, hopefully the next Call of Duty will be great. Hopefully, it's gonna be based on Vietnam. Like, we haven't had a true Vietnam game. In the Black Ops series, we have visited to Vietnam but never the entire game was based on it so uh yeah i would like to see that all right so this will be quick uh dice has announced their next upcoming game will be a battlefield game and yeah not a bad company game so your hopes and dreams are dead as mines i don't know after battlefield one i'm kind of tired of battlefield it, it needs another year of resting and this would have been a great opportunity to bring out bad company but no you, you you're just gonna bring a battlefield game and what makes it much worser is it's gonna be based on world war ii oh my god now like i said with black ops 4 hopefully it's gonna be in vietnam because no one has properly done a vietnam game and hopefully they're not talking about the actual world war 2 that everybody knows that was actually disappointing i i really wanted the bad company 3 you had no idea how long i've been waiting dice God damn it. So, State of K2 has announced their release date and also the price of the game. So, it's going to cost $29 and it's going to be releasing at May 22nd. Alright, so now here's the problem that people are seeing. So, they look at State of K2 price and they think, oh, it's going to be $29. So, it's probably not going to be a great game. I don't know where the fuck that came from. People are looking at the price and yeah, yeah, they're thinking, okay, this is probably not gonna have a AAA experience or a great experience. I think people thought this game was a AAA game, but it it's always been a, like a, a quote-unquote indie game, I think? I remember seeing the first State of Decay in the indie section of the 360 era, so it's always been an indie game, and I guess, you know, the studio is also indie. Alright, so going back to the pricing thing, alright, so people, they look at price and think, oh, that's gonna be a bad game. No! One of my favorite games of last year was Cuphead, and that costed $20. I had so much fun with that game, and also I bought the soundtrack, so it, it was like $30 at total. Or what about Hellblade? That costed $29, then that wasn't full price, but, you know, people were reviewing this and saying, wow, this was an amazing game. And what about Ratchet & Clank? That game was day one, $39, but it's a great game. I haven't played it, but, you know, heard a lot of people saying it was great. Actually, my, my uncle said it's an amazing game. I'm probably gonna buy it with my PS4 Pro. Oh yeah, an update. Uh, I'm still trying to find a PS4 Pro for, you know, a good deal. So uh, yeah, if you guys want to help me, go to my Twitter and, you know, tweet me saying or give me the link of that store if it has a good sale. So yeah, um, but continuing. I don't know who those people were, you know, saying, you know, oh, price indicates how good of game is. No, that's, that's false. We're seeing time after time again, you know, indie studios are making great games that has the same experience or a better experience than AAA games. So yeah, what I'm saying is, next year, you're gonna see a $59 indie game. Nah, I'm just kidding, but yeah. So, last story, uh, Nintendo Direct happened, and uh, yeah, it was just 30 minutes of nothing until at the end. So yeah, all this Nintendo Direct was, hey guys, we got some ports for the Switch that were from the 7th generation consoles. Oh yeah, and a port from 3DS games too. Oh yeah, the 3DS is still alive. Eh, just wait for a year, we're probably gonna kill it. 
Oh yeah, Smash Brothers. And people were saying, oh man, Sm Smash saved Nintendo Direct. Nintendo Direct is a 9 out of 10. And it's like, what, are you are you partially retarded or you weren't even listening? You've been watching 30 minutes of nothing until Smash Brothers came out. And I don't know why, but... <laughs> I, I want to switch. So yeah, hearing uh, that Smash Brothers is coming, eh, you know, my my eagerness of getting a Switch is kind of you know one point up. As as soon as Nintendo Direct announced, oh yeah, here's here's gameplay of the next Pokemon game. Oh man, my oh my dick. Stay tuned. My dick. So yeah, after this conference, I'm like, hmm, should I get a Switch or a PS4 Pro? I have no idea. So yeah, Smash Brothers got me excited, and also that Mario Tennis, that looks pretty good too. And yeah, and everything else was just, you know, just ports that weren't really interesting. So they announced that Luigi's Mansion is going to be on the 3DS, and I have no idea why it's not also on the Switch. Like, Nintendo, that doesn't make any sense. Why can you make a port for... Both consoles. Nintendo just likes doing that type of shit. Oh, here's a game from Nintendo 64, and we're gonna put it on the 3DS. No, what? what? Why not on the Switch? Ah, but that'll be the next Nintendo Direct. We'll announce that next year. And also, that's separate. If you buy it on the 3DS, well, you're gonna have to buy it again for the Switch. Oh, yeah, and also, in the beginning of the live stream, you see Nintendo's poor attempt to save the 3DS by giving it, uh, like, these ports and shit. It's like... Look, Nintendo, we know what the fuck you're doing, all right? You're making it seem like you're going to support the 3DS, but we know, we know that after, I don't know, two years, you're going to stop supporting that console. I know for sure that the next Pokemon game that's going to be the 3DS, after that, the 3DS will die. Because for me, the only reason to get a 3DS is for the Pokemon RPGs. And I'm hearing that it's going to be also available on the Switch, so, you know, they might, they might just, you know, make it a permanent thing on the Switch, not 3DS. Or they might make a new 3DS, you know, uh, uh, the new 3DS Lite Extra Large. And starting today, every new 3DS games will only be playable at the new 3DS Lite Extra Large. I see Nintendo doing that. But yeah, that's all I got to say. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me, Twitch, share, see me, Twitch, Twitch, and Twitter. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you later. Bye. Oh yeah, and the PS4 Pro has a God of War theme. Looks ugly.